Hi, Jim Rothstein from Page One Marketing once again, and in this video, my team and I are going to show you the core elements that we put in place when we start working with clients uh, to help them rank higher in Google in their local market. We have a lot of behind the scenes techniques that we employ to do this, and what you're about to see makes up the foundation of all of our search engine optimization campaigns. So strap in and let's get started. All right, so one of the long-term goals for all of our clients is always to get them to start ranking higher in Google over time. Now, search engine optimization, which is making sure your site is set up so that Google can see it the way that it needs to and ranks you high for a keyword that you wanna be ranked for, is something that can take some time. And depending on the competition and their level of sophistication, can take a little bit of work. Now. In the beginning, there's a few things that you can do that really set you up for success. And we wanna go through that in this particular video. So we're gonna talk through a few of the key things that we are always looking at when we are building a website, but also really formulating the long-term plan so that we can play nicely with Google and rank really high. So on this search, we're just doing dentist in Jonesboro, Arkansas. So it's a under 100,000, uh, city. This is one of the places that uh, is a lot of fun to work with because it's under 100,000. You go above 100,000, you start having a lot more competition, but there's basically the same sort of tactics early on, whether you're in a huge city versus a smaller city like this. So let's go through this real quick. And whether you're in a big city or a small city, this should be really helpful. So we're looking down the list. And of course, we've got, uh, you know, the maps that we can look in. And so there's ways to rank in that that are very easy that, uh, of course, we can go through at another time. But let's talk about how do we rank in sort of this first page results. So we've got a few things. We've got directories like Yelp, and we've got Aspen Dental, which is a directory for this thing. So really making sure that you have a presence on Yelp, any presence in something like a directory that's national is super, super important. Now, let's look at these two websites here. So we've got Northeast Arkansas Dentistry and Gerhan Dental. Okay, so what uh, are we doing here to rank for this dentist in Jonesboro, Arkansas? Okay, so there's a couple key things. First thing that we always tell people to do is figure out what you wanna rank for. So here's a list of possible keywords for dentist. Now, if you are a lawyer, a chiropractor, cars, whatever it is you do, you want to start thinking through a list of things that you'd like to be ranking for that people might search that would get you where you need to be. Okay, so that's the first step that we always do to think about when we're like, okay, how do we get from here even a little higher up? So we start thinking about those things there and what we would do. But we want to have a full list. We don't just want to rank for this. We want to rank for a lot of different things. Okay, so what are we after? Well, the first thing is this. So let's go to Gearhead Dental here. Okay, so the first one is big. Is It's got to be mobile friendly, meaning it looks good on desktop. But when I start shrinking it down, it's responsive, meaning it changes its size based on how big the screen is. So we've got this site. We're back to full screen. And we've got all this stuff here. So now that we know it's mobile ready, because Google looks for that, is it mobile ready? Is it search engine friendly? Meaning, is this thing set up to where it's mentioning keywords in specific places? So cosmetic dentist, Jonesboro, Arkansas, we've got dental care, there's a keyword that we want. And once you were to really inspect this site, you're gonna start to see that there are places here where they have took some care to make sure they're mentioning certain words, but in context so that it looks good to humans too. Now this could be a lot better on this site, but let's just start there. Now, the next thing is we now know it's mobile ready. We now know that they've taken some care to mention some key terms that also look good for humans. We want to make sure that we are creating content, actual content that mentions our keywords. So in this particular website, I'd love to see a blog here because then it's more, gives you the ability to be more updated and Google loves the setup of blogs. Okay, so we're gonna go to patient education. Now check this out. Under patient education on the side, we've got all these little menu items that guess what they kind of relate to. They kind of relate to this list of key terms. But every time we click into one of these, we've got a short little blurb, educational, that's actual content that goes through stuff. So this is not only great from a conversion standpoint of to human beings, but it gives us a list of keywords that we're gonna start ranking for into a local market. So that's cool. Now, another thing you may want to be doing is getting strategic links from locals. So if you're a member of your chamber of commerce, you may want to have your chamber of commerce link 
to your homepage with one of your keywords. So instead of just putting your URL, which is at the top, you know, garehandental.com or Jonesboro Dental, whatever it may be, we may want to have them put on a link, but make sure that that link has one of our keywords as the title, the clickable link, rather than something else. So that's one key there. Now, another real big key here is behind those strategic links is link back to your Facebook page. So here we can go right to our Facebook page and you see the Facebook page. This gives them the ability if they wanted to, and they're not doing it here, but if they wanted to, they could take some of this great content on the patient education page and they could actually link to it on their Facebook page. And they start getting some interesting things here too. Because what happens is when you post good content on Facebook and other people share it, Google starts to see that as a signal that it's important as well. Now, there are absolutely a ton of other things that you could do, but the key thing that you need to realize is when you're having your website built, it needs to look good, but it needs to be set up for search engines. This is something that you have to really be an expert at to even know what's going on. After that, you need to find someone to build your website that is getting you to write these keywords out that you want to rank for. And then understands the importance of a mobile ready website like this one actually is. So it's mobile ready. But in the background can make sure that you've got the things happening at a code level that are going to help you rank too. Now the only other thing that I will mention here is, because this is super important, is on this site, if there was a blog that had good content and it was very keyword focused around these particular keywords, I can almost guarantee you that for just about any dental keyword that we had, you know, that you could think of for this particular area, this site would rank for if over the next year, let's just say once a week, a new blog post came up and you hired someone to do this and all of those posts were focused around these keywords, you would see these people shoot way up in the search engines, not just for, hey, I'm on the first page for this particular term, but you'd see them shoot up for all of them. And so I, I can't stress enough. It's not only about what your website looks like, what's going on in the background, how many people are linking in. Now it's a game of what is your content. And if you can find someone to actually help you focus on content and have a plan, you can do some very powerful things. And let me tell you, from at least from a dental standpoint, chiropractic, uh, car dealership, law firm, ranking high and just investing in content for even just a year is more than uh, an easy investment to make in terms of your return. So hopefully that makes sense. Like I said, some really key things that we're gonna do here. First, figure out the keywords that make you money. Second, make sure your website's search engine friendly. That's something that you wanna have a professional do. After that, make sure it's mobile ready. Professional, have them build it a certain way. Really focus on content. Get some strategic links like from your chamber, or your newspaper, really take those actions to get those. And then make sure that you're linked up with your social media and you're spreading out your content that you're having produced there. That's gonna help you start to rank. This is an advanced strategy, but it's one that's absolutely worth implementing to get where you wanna go. Well, I hope that walkthrough helped you get a better idea of exactly how to build that online marketing asset the right way. If you'd like help with all, your, all the technical aspects of setting it all up and maintaining it, my team here at Page One Marketing specializes in that. My number and email are at the bottom of this uh, page, and I'd be glad to walk you through exactly how we can help you get it up and running fast.